Hi, I'm Carl Torsbins. The title is Challenging. Jody Arias in Prison. This is a special kind of video because it's focused on her behavior, her evilness, and her manipulative skills on the officers that are going to be supervising her, as well as those that are going to be managing her program needs. This is a very, very special, high needs, manipulative individual who uh, is going to make an impact in the Arizona Department of Corrections Perryville complex because she's an artist. I mean, she's a carn artist, but she's an artist and she's good at what she does. So this video is about the challenge that the Department of Corrections has managing Jody Arias' behavior inside Perryville. This video has a special meaning for me because I know that she, they are going to be played. They meaning the staff and the inmates and that she's going to gain the upper hand because of her personality and her ability to be sly, inconspicuous, and manipulative all at the same time, pretending to be somebody she's not. If you resist, you'll be the enemy. If she treats you like the enemy, the consequences are severe. Jody Arias says she's an artist. She claims to be a photographer, artist, and a painter. In other words, she's a creative individual who thinks a lot and has an imaginary uh, mind. Take that in consideration because she's also a good liar. She wants to do what she wants to do. She's that kind of individual who thrives on control. If you read the book, The Prince, it has a lot of uh, hints on how the process of manipulation Ironically, one of my video subscribers identified Jody Arias as a queen bee type of person. That's pretty truthful. Matter of fact, this, I think she hit the nail right on the head. Again, read the book, The Prince. Look at it. Analyze it. See where it's going. Why does it matter that we look at the, the book? Why does it matter what we think Arias is going to do this or that inside prison? Because she is an artist. She's a con artist. She knows how to role play and create electricity for the drama in her life. She will definitely play the Department of Corrections in every which way but loose. You will burn somebody and if they do not take or pay attention to her personality and her abilities to twist things around, they will be burned badly. There are many reasons to learn from this book. It's a manual to learn human behavior and this behavior is identical to what Jody Arias has demonstrated and the fact remains that she is acting out some of the things that have been mentioned in this book as far as behavior, deeds, words, actions that make sense and also makes her a fearless individual. Arias is no moralizer. She seeks to subvert all those who oppose her ideas and actions. If she's anything but virtuous, generous, and merciful leader, she's also not someone who's honest and faithful. The key is how these virtues are applied and for what purpose. Remember, deception is the main reason for the book, The Prince. It's a book about deception. There are no friends in life, only enemies. This is how Jody Arias operates in her manner of thinking and acting out with people. She uses this concept to preserve the power and influence over others. Jody Arias has been taught either by herself or by someone else that in this world where there are so many not so good people you must learn to be able to also not be so good but to be better and to pretend to be good. Jody Arias inspires fear into others when whether they are foe or friend she controls the situation. She is ruthless she gets what she wants and if it means to overcome great difficulties she will stop at nothing to get where she wants. That's the danger of Jody Arias. He has the power of a lioness and the cleverness of a fox. He does not seek respect. Although she wants respect, she won't seek it. She expects it automatically. She's contemptuous and becomes vicious and lets heads roll to make her case and you cross her path. She doesn't stop there. She chooses the facts the way that benefits her the most. She has been taught and is a student of evil. How many times have you heard this word applied to Jody Arias during this trial? Thousands of times it described the evilness in her. But the truth is, evil, she never urged evil just for evil's sake. She always had a proper aim of her wrath 
and maintain proper balance of her actions. I believe she wanted to get caught. I believe that she didn't think she was going to get caught because she's such an arrogant individual. But eventually I believe she knew she was going to get caught. Since this is a modern state we're dealing with, we can say life's too complicated to be managed by any single person. Jody Arias wants to control her environment. That's how is she going to impact the prison system. How well she copes and functions in prison will depend on who chooses her to be her closest confidant. She's going to play her cards right. She's going to be a leader. She's going to be influenced. And in the end, she is going to have a practical opportunity to be deceitful and manipulative and get the things that she wants while she's inside prison. And this video is designed to give a heads up that anybody who makes contact with her is going to have their hands full. Thank you for watching my video.